can tech companies be trusted to be motivated by profit and to be doing the right thing as long as there's a profits involved? I think yes, like all other companies. Should you trust a company like you trust a relative? No. I mean, there is the, um, the profit motive mm -hmm. and as long as interests are aligned, Facebook making data because they have a monopoly on your information, for instance, then Facebook has an incentive to protect your data better, right? Mm -hmm. Where um, incentives are disaligned, let's say Facebook now starts making money by selling your information to others, then all of a sudden you as a consumer lose out, right? So um, companies can be trusted to want to make money. If that's the same interest that you have, then fully trust them, otherwise be suspicious. I don't think anybody does uh, insecurity on purpose, but as Germans or Europeans, we often think that others could be doing much better. So we think that American software and Asian hardware is built with insecurities almost by design. And while that may be true, it's certainly not on purpose. And at least they do get software out and they do get hardware out, whereas we're still tinkering um, with cars and other technology from 100 years ago. We haven't come out with new stuff in a long time. How secure is anybody's smartphone? Well, I don't think that's mostly a technology question. I think the big difference between um, a secure and an insecure phone is the person using it, right? You choose uh, the pin code, you choose the apps you install, you choose the permissions that you grant them. You make all the difference in whether or not the data is well protected on your phone. Organizations, especially established organizations, traditional companies as we have them in Europe um, predominantly, um, have fears that are expressed through hacking, but they're not really more about technology. They're fearful that the world is changing and that the cloud and mobile applications and artificial intelligence are undermining what they're currently doing but then they rationalize it around the topic of hacking, where they say, no, we don't want to be part of this world because our data will be stolen. Now, most companies that argue that do not have much interesting data. They're locking themselves out of the digital ecosystem, hence they're not really a data player. And so these fears oftentimes are rational. Of course, hacking does happen, and I think it should happen. Mistakes should be made so that we can learn from mistakes and make sure that once digitization has really gained a foothold in our world that at that point we understand how to prevent hacking. But we shouldn't try to prevent it before that. We are starving ourselves of all learning opportunities. Well, I think the secret is not to want to ever build something truly secure, but rather to understand the risks that are embedded in all technology and to expect bad outcomes. Rarely, but surely some systems will get hacked somewhere every year, right? Um, if you don't want to deal with these consequences, keep your data out of those systems, but don't try to build the systems to be perfectly secure. I think we do live in the most hackable time ever, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. We have 100 times more data than a short while ago, and maybe twice as much hacking. So, on average, actually, data is better protected. There's just so much more of it, and often for good reasons and towards great prosperity, that, of course, more of it will get hacked. But that, too, is just another learning curve that we'll have to go through as, as societies. A year from now, I, I hope that people stop talking about GDPR and have gone back to posting cute videos of their cats on the Internet.